Okay, Mayor John Mirish, you're live in City Hall. Uh, today is Friday, March 27th. Uh, first of all, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you, Josh. This is your first Zoom interview you've done in City Hall, correct? This is my first Zoom interview I've done anywhere. All right, well, we're making some history here. So, uh, Mayor Mirish, you told me that uh, it's been very important for you to go to work every day uh, even during this pandemic and to show the city that, you know, city government is continuing even, even in the middle of the pandemic. And you mentioned to me that sort of your hero here is Winston Churchill. So you want to just speak to that real fast? Well, I think you're the one who pointed out when I said I'm still coming to work every day because I felt it was important, of course, taking proper hygienic procedures and all of those precautions. And you said, why not? Winston Churchill went to work every day during the Blitz, and I think that's a wonderful model. This is obviously not, this isn't World War II. It's nothing as drastic as that, but it's still something that is extremely unusual for all of us in ways it's unreal and it's surreal. And I do think that, uh, you know, we talk about things that need to continue. I think city government and, and the city needs to continue to be run. Agreed, agreed. Okay, so just to give us a brief update, City Hall right now, um, number of Staff members are working from home, but the first responders have all reported to work, correct? And yes, of course. Fire is operating normally. Absolutely. And they're, of course, across the street. They have, or down the street, they have their own offices. City Hall right now itself is pretty lonely, but uh, of course, our first responders are all there, and most of the staff uh, are available. They're working uh, virtually. They're just not here physically. Now, you know, you've obviously been mayor before. Uh, you're the most experienced member on the city council currently in terms of tenure. Uh, do you think you were uniquely poised to be the mayor at this time? Obviously, this isn't something you expected to happen right at the end of your mayorship, but it did happen. Can you speak just briefly to where you think your experience uh, kicks in here with regard to being mayor? Well, I, I certainly think experience helps. You know the way things are run here. You know how things work. You don't have to get into that learning curve. Um, you know, I, so I think that does help. Whether I'm uniquely qualified, I, I, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I think beyond just knowing the way things work, it is, you know, being prepared and, and having that kind of uh, the ability to deal with things that come your way. I hope I've done a good job. I've done, certainly done my best, but I, I wouldn't say I'm uniquely qualified. To what degree are the other mayors talking, coordinating? Is there communication between you and, for example, Mayor Garcetti's office or some of the other smaller cities? Yeah, I mean, obviously, LA is the biggest. They're, they've done a good job of, of having conference calls with uh, the county mayors. There are 88 cities, as you know, in the county to keep us uh, apprised of what they're doing. But I've also had person to person calls with a number of other mayors from the, uh, for, you know, from within the county. And they're, um, you know, that, that on a personal level, that, that's something that we, we talk about how things are working in their city, what their challenges are as well. But of course, uh, we also are in contact with the county because the county, as you know, Beverly Hills falls under the County Department of Health, as does LA, by the way. I think it's only Long Beach and Pasadena in the county that have their own health departments. And so it's important for us to coordinate on that level as well. Okay, so we want viewers to know that uh, beverlyhills.org, the city website is obviously still running. A lot of services are available online. Do you want right. to say just a couple of things that, that residents can get online? Yeah, you can basically do everything online, almost everything. And then if you're specifically interested in the COVID-19 pandemic and our recent responses to it, uh, you can go to beverlyhills.org slash novel coronavirus. And there is a lot of information there. Uh, it's constantly being updated. We had a council meeting yesterday, a special council meeting with uh, our um, novel or our COVID-19 uh, advisory committee, which which we convene to answer questions, to give us updates, to give us recommendations. Uh, that that should all be available online. Let me address that for a moment. So you guys used GoToMeeting, the GoToMeeting software, which is similar to what we're using right now. Right. And all the council members were able to call into the meetings. You actually were not physically in the chambers. The other council members were not. No. Uh, you anticipate the next couple of meetings are probably going to be like that, right? Look, it could be that way for a long while. We just don't know. I mean, and, until it, it and, and that's one of the things we discussed, that, that when the crisis is over, it's not going to be we snap our fingers and things go back to normal. It will be like sort of a faucet that you gradually turn on and you'll allow certain functions to move forward until eventually it gets back to normal. But it's not going to be on Easter, Passover, or any other day that we snap our fingers and things are the way they were last year. That's not how it'll work. So this this could be some time. Uh, of course, uh, the governor decree had an executive de 
decree to allow us to have meetings these way because uh, this way because otherwise meetings uh, you had to have an actual quorum of the council or a legislative body physically present right and you want to address that of course it's uh, brown act compliant and also residents have the ability to phone in to the meeting so i mean so so yesterday basically in the chambers they can call it right yesterday we were working out some bugs uh people didn't have the ability to call in and comment but they could send emails which were would be read by the uh, city clerk uh, I hope on Tuesdays, and I know they're working on it, so that like our last meeting, which was uh, on the 16th of March, it was a special emergency meeting, uh, residents and viewers were able to call in and comment. And so, so hopefully and that'll and be- The hope is that that will be available in the future meetings. Yes, it's starting on Tuesday. Okay, I wanna give out the number for the city uh, hotline, which is 310-550-4680. That's the coronavirus hotline that's- Thank you. Up. And um, well, Mayor Marish, uh, Tuesday, your mayorship comes to an end. Vice Mayor Les Friedman will be taking over. Do you want to just take 60 seconds and look back on the year? And you know, what are you most proud of uh, this year as mayor? Look, I I'll let others make that decision. We're, you know, I, I still, the way I look at it, there's still plenty of work to be done. And so, so let's do it. Have you given uh, Vice Mayor Friedman any advice on taking over as mayor? You know, no. Okay, well, he's first time mayor, it's a little different different structure well, he's, had, he, he's had a chance now because he's um you know he's been vice mayor i guess that's one of the reasons we have the rotation we do so that people right. have a chance to sort of uh get their feet wet when they're vice mayor and see how right. it works and that sort of thing right. and what a time to become mayor huh well as said you know this always and always was a, a council where ultimately as you know it's not a strong mayor system the mayor uh, obviously uh, you know, has representational and ceremonial roles, but ultimately it's the council as a whole that makes decisions. That will continue to be the, the case. And uh, I will obviously continue to make my voice heard when it comes to uh, a lot of issues, including everything that's been agendized uh, or almost everything that's been agendized on next week's meeting, which includes more measures that we can and we should take to, to address the uh, COVID-19 crisis. Okay, well, Mayor John Marish, thanks for taking some time with us, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Thanks so much. Thanks.